got a dilemma with my drive shaft. And Dennis told me this when they done it. When they put the rear ends in, he said I had to shorten the shaft. Which I called down and gave him Larry, the Kenworth's uh, VIN number. And then they sent, and then the shaft needs to be like that. Yeah, I got, they got to cut this off and move it down here, basically. Whew. Mercy. So, that's what I'm dealing with. Then I set it into, and I lost that section. I never did find it. In all the chaos and the road and stuff, when all this happened, I, I never found this piece, a drive shaft, which is a crucial piece. And it's probably reusable. I drove back the other day looking for it. And of course, it's in a nice neighborhood. Somebody picked it up and done throwing the sun buck away. Oh. Uh, what to do. So I'm gonna go down to the drive shaft store. I'm going down to perfection and uh Yep. And we're gonna have to do some measuring dag on it. I think Dennis said two inches and I like to go two and a half, but I don't know if that's too much oscillation for the axles. Sometimes it's just the way she goes. Alright, we've had this trailer for probably five years, and I've never pulled a load in it. I'll get a good once over because I ain't never pulled it. This is an ITI. Bearings look good in here. This is an ITI. Uh, we bought this used. It's a, it's a large car trailer. It's got a lot of light bulbs on it. Birds and rubber on. Let me look under the suspension. Make sure it looks good under here. Now Derek and them boys, they do a good job. Hey, everybody's starting to get a little old on it. It'd be time for airbags for too long. I like how they held all their utilities under here. That's pretty cool. Uh, I've never seen that done before. I like it. Huh. Well, you learn something new every day. That looks good. There's a little bit of rust in places. I mean, it needs a little bit of love. Huh. That daggone salt they put on a damn road. Down in our area, I don't even know why they salt a damn road. Just everybody wait till it snows. I mean, we don't get enough snow to ruin our equipment over. Ground here. Lights need cleaned off. Got a little too much milk on it. I see. I need to clean them off. Tires are getting a little low over here. Not bad. What's that nice set there? Yeah. I like it. See now, Luke told me to get ITI. He said they're a little better trailer than Peerless. We like them a little bit better. We got Peerless too. They're good. They're all good trailers, but I think the ITI is a shade better made. Alright, let's get rolling. We got our logs hauled. Got our logs hauled. Here's a drive shaft. Called Perfection Drive Line. They're gonna I gotta take about I think two and a half inches, but I told old boy I said I want somebody else to look at it with me, and make damn sure I'm making the right choice. Choices. Dennis said they took two inches out. And I don't think it's anything they done. I think what we done screwed up the caps and I didn't know it. And I ran the son of a bit till it was too late. But I think that's what happened to it. So we're gonna go down here and get them to get that right. And uh, you know we didn't look at the brake pads. Oh yeah. Well, something ain't right. Learn my problem. Look at that. Brakes are fine or just backed off. And I'll tell you why, because these stupid son of Let me get on a rant a second. There ain't nothing. I mean, not nothing. It pisses me off worse 
than these stupid little pointed freaking auto slacks. Dumb bastards. The only reason we even got these on these such is so these stupid kids get raised on a damn couch to drive a truck. I hate the damn thing. I always have. I hate auto slacks. The bastards. Pieces of shit. You don't know when they're gonna strip out and do dumb shit. With a passion. And now, the damn idiots up top tells us we have to run the bastards. It's a law. I'll tell you what, I don't give a shit who you are. You can kiss my ass. I hate running these stitches. I crawl in my truck once a week to check my slacks. And when they're done, I know they're done. And when they're loose, I know they're loose. They're loose because I didn't do my job. But when I tighten them up, they're tight. And these dumb things. You don't know when they're gonna freaking do dumb. I hate these things. God, I hate these things. And whoever passed that law, I'd like to kick you right in the crotch. Freaking stupid. Yeah. We gotta make it home. There goes Chris's new tractor. I'm gonna film that for too long. Ah, uh, we'll try it. I don't like this.
Well, I'm glad this phone didn't drop because it had dropped 40 feet. Screen's already cracked though, so why not? Anybody seen that box I was throwing around? I just picked that out of the shop. It's an Allen Bradley box. If anybody gets any longer weight gear and it gets it in an Allen Bradley box, that was the box. All right, let's see if we got brakes now. They're not exceptional, they're there, but oh, my air's low. Duh. I think they're fixed. I tried them empty. See, I shut my truck off when I loaded. All that sawdust around, I don't want to suck in the air cleaner or the radiator, so I always shut my truck off when I load them on. Get my air belt back up. Starting to get a little warm out these days. See what she does at 60 pounds. Them dad gun. I hate auto slacks. I mean, you adjust them and you're relying on the daggone. It just, I don't like them. I don't trust them. Never have trust auto slacks. And I've had enough go wrong with auto slacks to, to prove my theory, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, love it. I hope they stay that way, damn auto slacks. Here unloading at Bailey. It's cool to get that load. It's it's like an old building and stuff. I get out in Benji Quarter, but I don't want to be. I, I feel kind of awkward pointing cameras around and everything. But it is cool in here. You kind of back into a dark hole in there. Dump her out. Let me let me see if I can get y'all to see me in the dark. that cool and then what they do is they burn it and uh, use it for their fire and their kill. It is cool. All right, I got to crawl in there. Sawdust don't come out too well. I got to kind of crawl in there and do it. Take y'all around the office Sunday. This place is rich in history. But I don't want to impose myself and we're, we got stuff to do. Get out of here. See that one right there? And boys is talking in there and that old boy he said, hey, did, they, did them guys from D. Patrick Honda call? He said, no. And he pointed outside. I assume he's talking about that shaft. I guess that's a drive shaft out of a Honda. That was a son of a buck. Boy, that nut's a, that nut's a turd. <laughs> Here's the yoke. We got the back one out. And no, the hardcore truck guys, I ain't putting seal in it. And I ain't going to do it. I probably should, but I'm not. I'm not gonna put a pinion seal on it. Or, yeah. <sighs> now I get that other one out, that son of a buck. If you're half as bad as the other one, you're probably pretty bad. Let me set you all down here and let you all watch a second. Well, come on, it's the same thing every time. She told me not to mess around. I done let the deal go down. Move it on over. Alright, thanks everybody for watching. Leave me likes and comments and tell me what's up and everything. And uh, uh, if you want any gear, go to loggerway.com and check her out. Thanks everybody. Later on. Bye. Bye. <laughs> that was awesome. That's a good baby. I said bye too. You did. You said bye too. I love you. Bad babies. <laughs>